Hey, my post-apocalypse doomsday survivors. Uh, I just saw this new show on sci-fi called Blood Drive. Pun intended. Um, it's a show in a post-apocalyptic kind of world. You know, uh, dystopia is more correctly the word. So, what's up, my dystopias, I guess? Um... <clears throat> So, what well, the plot of the show is, there's a race, of course, Drive, and it's a secret race, the winner of it gets $10 million to start your whole thing, your whole life, all sorts of things, you know, thing is, in this world, this dystopia Gas is like $800 a gallon or a barrel, something crazy. You're out of here, like, you know, woo! Uh, so, what are you going to race with in this world where gas is so expensive? Blood. <laughs> now, you know, not all cars run on blood now. It's not like that kind of dystopia. <clears throat> Just these racers, their car runs on blood. Winner gets... $10 million. So, show starts off, has a really grindhouse feel to it. Like, you know, like the Death Proof movies and Planet Terror. And then you do find out during the, the titles that it is a grindhouse movie. Um, I don't think it's made by the same guy who directed it, um, but the creator of this show is James Rowland. Uh, you know, it stars uh, Alan Richon. Christina Orca, I, I might be saying these names wrong. Thomas Domiqui, and uh, I'm gonna stop right there because I'm fucking up these names. I'm bad at names. All right, so again, it's a grindhouse movie. Um, you first meet up with our femme fatale, our lady drive out. Then you transfer. After you get the whole sense of, like, cars run on blood. I mean, I guess I was fooling the first episode, but this is a review. Okay. So, maybe some stories. Sorry. That was, like, the first five seconds of the movie. Or show. You could see it coming. Alright. Eventually, we meet our cop. And they're, like, you know, um, I guess spoilers. But this is the overall, this is the plot of the show, really. There's a cop. Now, in this dystopia world, cops aren't cops anymore, really. They are cops, but it's kind of like more dread, dread, or Judge Dreadfield, except run by a private organization. So they're wearing a cam that videotapes the people committing crimes. And, uh, you know, <laughs> anything's a crime, and it's punishable very harshly. Uh... Also to note, which might be a throw to Road Warrior and Mad Max, um, oh wait, that's a gas thing, I don't think, I don't, no, they had a problem with water, yeah, they had a problem with water, um, I just wasn't sure if I was getting that mixed up with, uh, Book of Eli, cause they, you know, they had water problem too, um, good movie, watch, watch all those movies, um, so back to the point, is they had, like, you get rationed water, and they come across some people hacking a water machine. Uh, so maybe that was, like, a little nod to him. So we find him. He's a good cop in a bad cop world, because, like, the other cops are smashing heads and shooting people or whatever, and he wants to, like, be a good cop and, like, help people out who might be in a tough time. But, like, he gets led upon this location. So he goes to the location, tells his partner. His partner, hesitantly, okay, decides to go. Because he's like, look, you gotta, you know. In this cop world, all the cops are beating up all the people. And it's that, oh, uh, kind of, like, stereotype where, like, he's like, hey, look, you gotta, you gotta get in there and beat up some guys. Captain's getting out of you. That's how bad it is. So... You know, he finds out about this location. He wants to go investigate it for real criminals. Real criminals. Uh, I don't know what quotation. 
Um, so he convinces his partner to go. They go. Turns out this is where the, all the racers are meeting to get out and go. Uh, so he ends up getting caught. Surprise, surprise. Uh, so, you know, the crowd loves his and that girl that we met before. Chemistry, so hey, the guy in charge says, hey, even though you're a cop and, you know, whatever, we're gonna smash you together and you're gonna race. So, they're off racing. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you the rest. That's, that's like the beginning. Um, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of, like, you know, the stuff. But I'll say, like, this part is you kind of meet the other drivers. And it kind of has, like, this twisted metal vibe. Like, these quanky characters. Like, I forget their names, but one's, like, Dick Clown. Whatever kind of thing. Uh, but they do have rules in this race. They also have a contingency plan if they try to do anything. That's why, like... You know, you'll see, like, why the can't, cop can't just be like, well, I'm just going to run away. Things like that. Um, now, as to the quality of the show itself. Well, it's a sci-fi grindhouse movie. So, I would put it in, like, say... Like, it's probably like a 7 out of 10. Um, you know, it depends what you're into. It's like this quirky horror kind of race movie. And if that's what you like, then that's what you like. And you know, the acting's a little bit off, but I always find the first season of a show has the acting's a little off because even though, like, I don't know, I haven't seen these people in other things really that I can recall of. Usually with the show is it's usually, you know, they've done roles maybe, but like, they're trying to fill out the role, get the role situated. So it could probably, you know, ease in better, but it's, you know, it falls in line with like, sci-fi made content, you know. I think it's going to do well. Uh, I'd give it a good old click and watch. You know, see if you like it. Alright, so that was our review talk about of Blood Drive. The new sci-fi horror racing blood eating car chewing fucking show. Uh, there's things in there. Like You'll see things. Probably didn't do a great job of describing it. Alright, so over here, we're going to have a little subscribe button. If you guys want to subscribe, you can like this video, share this video. Please help me out so much. I need these. I live on likes. I'm needy as fuck. Like, nobody likes my shit. I'm just like, uh-uh. Uh! -uh. Louise, here I come! I'm coming this time! Um, Alright, um, so subscribe, like down there in the regular like, uh, there's other probably subscribe down there, uh, over here, there's gonna be a video, you guys can watch this video, uh, maybe two videos, links to, you know, what's maybe, what's new, or what's most suited to you, according to YouTube, or whatever I feel like putting there, I haven't figured it out yet. So, uh, comment. <laughs> I'd like to see your comments. I'd like to read your comments. I'd like to comment about your comment and reply to your comments. I'd like to know what you want more of and less of. And again, how much you like my shit? Cause I live on lakes. No, I'm kidding. Um. Also, probably in the description there will be a link to our Facebook page. You want to go there, like us, friend us, whatever. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Same comic book place, same comic book time.